So let's look at uh, how we manage tops on apple trees for adequate crop load but still keeping a leader present. You can see here by the scar that this was the leader uh, two years ago and it broke off because it had too much fruit. So we've come in, we've supported a side branch, we've bent it up. You can see we've used this fabulous stretch tie that seems to last forever and doesn't biodegrade to hold it up. This top has already been thinned to, to adequate numbers of fruits to be left. The thing I look at this time of year is if I have apples for commercial production that has a blemish in it, then I will take those off the top because I don't need anything that's not going to be a good fruit in the top if I can help it. I like to preserve the top uh, so you don't have to get into some of these uh, uh, changes of leaders like we're having to do here. We're going to continue our conversation on, on managing tops on apple trees here. I forgot to mention it earlier, these are M27 rootstock with uh, Gravenstein. Gravenstein, a very vigorous variety, so we like to keep the top weak so the tree doesn't blow up at us, on us. The uh, You can see we have, as with the first tree we looked at, we've got the leader supported here on a stake that is put in the ground and tied two places to wires. Plastic tie here and up here. This top was not adequately thin, and if we let this fruit get to full size, it will um, break the branch down. So I like to, once I have a tree as tall as I want it, I like to leave as much fruit as I can dare to leave in the top because the fruit is a very effective way to um, to reduce your vigor in, in the top of a tree. And this is just not, you know, when you have branches this week, you just don't really have any, any choice if you want to preserve the leader than taking all that fruit off. It's the middle of July here, and so this, this should have been done on this top here. Uh, a month ago, but lucky for you, we, we have a good example of what's not done properly here.